Today we'll take a look at Brushes version 2.1 for the iPhone and iPod Touch. You can see that it boots up pretty quickly and takes you to the gallery view. This will show you all the artwork that you have available to work on. You can start a new picture by hitting the plus sign in the upper right corner. Dragging your finger across the screen will act as a brush and create your sketch. Tap the screen once to bring up the toolbar. The app includes 11 different brushes and each one can be resized and edited slightly. From this screen you can also choose the color palette to change colors. The app allows you to easily create up to four different layers for your work. Layers can easily be repositioned, deleted, or merged together as needed. From the gallery view, you can also select pictures from your photo album. This comes in pretty handy if you want to use brushes to paint something that you've taken a picture of or hand-drawn. Once you've imported the picture, you can start painting on it through using layers and brushes just as before. You can use multi-touch to zoom in and pan around on your picture. Brushes allows you to zoom in up to 1600%. This feature is great, but it actually is a little tricky to use because sometimes you'll find yourself making stray marks when you actually meant to zoom in or pan around. When you do make mistakes, there's an eraser feature that has all the same options as the brushes. And there's also a pretty robust undo and redo feature. You can also quick select a color by pressing and holding your finger over that color until this color selection circle pops up. This app definitely takes some getting used to. But if you've got patience and you like to draw, you can actually come up with some pretty decent paintings on this thing. 